cool new game that just got out has piqued your interest, but you aren't sure if you should buy it. It's not that you don't want to play it, but your graphics card isn't the best or most recent, and you aren't sure whether you'll be able to run said new game. Of course, finding out the recommended hardware requirements for any game is easy. You can Google it, look it up on Steam or even on the game's website. But finding out what graphics card you have isn't always that easy and straightforward. Even if you've got a transparent case and can see the graphics card in all of its RGB lit glory, you may not be able to tell the exact model. But there's no need to worry, as there are several ways to check which graphics card you have and we're going to go through the most two reliable methods in this video. So without any further ado, let's begin! The first and most comprehensive method is the DX Diag method, or the DirectX Diagnostic method. To start, you're first going to need to pull up the Run window. This can easily be done by pressing the Windows key to bring up the Start menu and then typing DXDIAG and smashing Enter. Once you've done that, the DirectX Diagnostic tool will automatically scan your PC and all of its components. The tool will open with the System tab front and center. Here you can see all of the basic info about your PC, including even the computer name, system model, and BIOS. To check out the info about your graphics card, you'll need to either click on the Next Page button or the Display tab. Once you do this, you'll be greeted with all of the info you could possibly need regarding your graphics card, including, but not limited to, its name, manufacturer, chip type, and memory. You could even read up on the current drivers. This diagnostic tool can also show you similar info for your sound, but we won't get into that since that's not the topic of this video. In any case, the DirectX diagnostic method is straightforward and comprehensive, but we understand that many users will forget what they need to type into the run window just a few hours after watching this video. It's not like we wouldn't mind the extra views, but if you'd rather use a way to check your graphics card that's easier to remember, you should focus on the second method that we'll cover in this video. And that is the device manager method. Simply put, all you need to do is go to the device manager and you can find which graphics card you have from there. To enter a device manager, either type it out in the start menu or go to the control panel and then click on the hardware and sound until you finally see the device manager option. Now, here's the tricky part. Once you're in device manager, don't search for graphics cards or GPUs since you won't find anything under those names. Instead, click on Display Adapters to open up the drop-down menu with your graphics card. Then you just right-click on a graphics card, go to Properties, and learn what you can about it. The info will be a lot scarcer this way than it would be if you were using the DirectX diagnostic method, but you'll still be able to see some extra details. Just keep in mind that the device manager uses the graphics card's drivers to determine its details. So if you're using outdated drivers, it may not be the most accurate. Still, this is also an opportunity to check whether the drivers are up to date in the driver tab, so you could easily just update them if they need to be. If you've never updated your drivers, just don't freak out if your screen starts blinking. It'll be alright, we promise. And that pretty much covers the main two methods for figuring out which graphics card you have. You can always use third-party programs to arrive at this information as well, especially if you're looking for even more details, but we won't be giving you the step-by-step -step for that in this video. All we can say is that Speccy is an excellent piece of third-party software for this, but feel free to use others if you wish. Also, if you're using a pre-built PC, you could find all of its specs online so long as you know either the model of your PC or you've got its ID. And that about does it for this video. If all you want to do is check the name of your graphics card in order to see whether it can run a certain game, then you don't need to bother with any third-party apps. Both the DirectX diagnostic tool and the device manager method can get you all of the info you need in a minute or so. So all that's left is to hold out hope that your graphics card can indeed run the desired game. Fingers crossed! 
in any case, we hope you found this video helpful. If you have, you can let us know by liking it, dropping a comment and subscribing to our channel. And if you think that your friends could benefit from it as well, be a pal and share the video around. Also, if you want to see more helpful videos like this one, make sure to click on the bell icon. We upload a new video every week and this is the best way not to miss any. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.